Hello everyone, my name is Sumit Goel and uh, today I welcome all of you to BISP self-learning broadcasting videos. Today I am going to tell you about MVC pattern in Salesforce. So first of all, let us understand what is MVC pattern. See, MVC design pattern, it is used for managing our web applications and it is a software architecture pattern which separates the presentation of information from the user's interaction with it and it is one of the most popular design pattern in a three-tier three -tier application. So we can say that like as you can see here that model MVC stands for model view and controller M for model class C for controller and V stands for view pages. So as you can see here it is one of the most popular design pattern in the 3D architecture. It has three modules, model, view and controller. So, M so we can say that that MVC design pattern provides a centralized management for our web application and it also gives role based development. So we can separate task based upon the nature of the task. Like if the task is related to the business logic or the task is handling the database. So we will be writing the bean classes or the java classes and all these classes comes under model. Now if we come to the presentation part, so the presentation stuffs like JSP pages, HTML pages, CSS, page layout, style sheets or the, any beautiful pages to show the application to the customer or to the user. So all this stuff comes under view part. And now if we have a business logic processes and pages to show the process result to the customer. But just think that application it might serve several different types of requests like login, create shopping carts and item, add items to shopping cart, check, check out, billing and so on. So what we have to do is for each request you will need to write model and view. Then how to control the flow? So who will decide that what the model will do and what the view will do, what will be the connection between them. So here comes the controller into the picture. So what the controller do, controller will decide which and when model class needs to be called and which view needs to be used for present the response. So all the requests will come to the controller and controller will send those requests to the model class followed by the particular view. So as you can see here we have like I have already uh, differentiate between model clearly differentiate between model view and controller model uh, basically model belongs for schema and data of the application in Salesforce we use S object to represent a model view it's is responsible for presentation of data and in Salesforce we use visual force pages to create a view and controller it is basically responsible for how the user interface responds to action and in Salesforce we use controller or Apex code to create a controller. So now in Visual Force, so Visual Force uses the traditional model view controller or MVC paradigms with the option to use auto generated controller for database objects providing simple and tight integration with the database. So we can write our own controller or extension to controllers using Apex code and Visual Force also provide AJX component and embeds the formula expansion language for action, data and component binding interaction. So, so now I am going to demonstrate you how to create MVC pattern in Salesforce. So for this I have taken a very simple scenario and the scenario is like I want to display a pop-up message while click on a button and in that pop-up message it will display a message and a button and whenever we click on that button that pop-up message will close. So this functionality will be going to implement through the help of model view and controller. So for this first of all we need to go to Salesforce and create a login ID and password over there. So in my case I have already created a login ID and password so let me login into Salesforce. Like as you can see here I have already login into Salesforce. Now I am going to create 
first a visual force page and a controller so to create a visual force page or apex page we need to click on URL and write here apex slash and provide the page name so I write my sample page one two three enter you can see here it is displaying an error that the page my sample page one two three does not exist because this page is not available right now or has not been created so we need to create this page so I simply click on this link create page my sample page one two three so it will create a page for me or it will create an apex page or you can say a visual force page for me so as you can see here the page has been created but what about the code I want to write the code or I want to change the code so how to do that you can see at the corner uh, there is a small icon over here I can click on this icon and it will show me the code for this particular page so I don't want to show this message I want to display a button over here so I select this and delete this code from here now we need to write a code to create a button over here to create a button we need first apex colon form and in this we need to write a program I need to add a button so I write here apex colon command button value is equal to click action is equal to so see by default visual force provides few actions like save and cancel or update but in our scenario I want to create my own action so I write here my own action show pop-up this is my own action now I will be going to write functionality for this action in controller then to display the message or to create now we will be going to create a pop-up window so to create a pop-up window we need to create apex colon output panel we need one output panel this output panel will work as a pop-up window and there is one attribute over here rendered rendered is basically for refreshing the page rendered default value is true and false true or false but again I will be going to override this functionality so I write here my value that is display pop-up and in this we will be going to write one more output panel as a parent for this output panel because see we have created output panel to show uh, for render but this will be a child for another output panel so I create here apex colon output panel and ID is equal to an ID will be pop-up so I just select this it will be a child for this this output panel so I select this cut from here and paste within this so it becomes child now so this will be the panel over here so the code is ready over here now what we'll be going to do this we will be going to save this code so I click on save button and save this code so like you can see here this is just showing an error message that display pop-up referenced in my sam so there is some error over here so we have to solve this issue what's the issue so as you can see here this is displaying an error why the error is because this function this function and this action is a custom action so we need to write the functionality for this action and we are to write the functionality in our own controller so we can say that the view is ready over here but now we have to write the controller for this so to create a controller I write here my custom controller so there is a key uh, an attribute over here controller and give a name pop-up one two three so this is custom controller save this 
So you can see now it is again displaying an error message that class Apex class pop up 123 does not exist so because up till now the controller is not exist so we have to create a controller explicitly so how to create a controller so just click on this create Apex class public class pop 123 so it will create a controller for us as you can see here so we have a controller over here so I click on this and you can see this is a controller class so we have to write the functionality for show pop-up, display pop-up and hide pop-up into this controller. So now in this class we need to overwrite the functions or the actions over here. So how to do that? I write here public class pop-up123. So as you can see here, I have already noted down the code for you. What I have, what I have done over here, I simply create a boolean boolean variable over here, display popup, and set the value get and set. Then create a function hide popup and show popup, and set the value display popup is equal to false and display popup is equal to true. So if you if user click on first button to show the popup, so it will show the display popup set the value to true, and if the user click on this close close popup button, so action is hide popup. So here the height pop-up is the set the value to false. Now save this. So as you can see here, there is a button display over here. Now when I click on this button, let's see what happened. I click on this button and it display a pop-up message. This is a pop-up window and with a button over here, close pop-up. And when I click on this button, it close this pop-up and back to the original position but as you can see here there is not much style over here like I, it's not looking like a pop-up window so I want to change the style I want to put some style in this pop-up window so how to do that for this we will be going to take the help of CSS style sheets and where to do the uh, where to implement the functionality of style sheets we need to go to our apex coding or apex visual force page and just after this we need to write the style sheet code so i have note down the style class over here i have write down over here that background color must be gray background border style must be solid padding is 50x position is absolute top top location will be 100px and from left side it will be 250px now we will be going to use this style class into our pop-up window so we have to use it so to do this so second output panel render display pop-up and style class is equal to pop-up style so I mentioned this pop-up style class over here save this code now once you save this code you can see right now there is no pop-up over here if I click on this button, see what happened. It will display a pop -up, proper pop-up window with a button also. And if I click on this button, close pop-up, it will close the pop-up window. So this is how to create a view and a controller in our Visual, Fo in our Visual Force programming. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching the video. If you want more information on Apex programming or Salesforce, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel. Have a great day ahead. Goodbye.